One of the ways to improve your brain performance is by taking the right type of calling. Two forms stand out, Alpha GPC and CT calling, but which of them is the better version? Well, let's find out. Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Greg and I'm a brain hacker creating content that will help you upgrade your brain performance. And if this interests you, then subscribe below and join our amazing community. Today, we're gonna talk about calling. We're gonna compare Alpha GPC to City Calling. I'm gonna tell you my experience with both of those compounds. We're gonna look at the similarities, differences, and at the end of the video, I'm gonna tell you which calling compound I prefer. So if you're ready, let's just begin. Now, first of all, what exactly is choline? Now, choline is an important and essential brain nutrient uh, that is found in your brains, uh, but you can get it through different types of foods. You can find a very high amount in different types of meat, in soybeans, and so on. Now, your liver can make a small amount of choline, but research shows that you need to get enough of it through eating the right types of foods. If you don't get it, then you might have issues with memory, learning, and brain function. Now, choline is important because it supports cell membranes, it is involved in memory and learning, it produces important neurotransmitters, it is involved in DNA synthesis, and it is crucial for well-functioning nervous system. Now, based on the current research, an adequate amount of choline is about 425 milligrams per day for women and about 550 milligrams for men. So what is the best choline form? First of all, let's have a look at city choline. Now city choline, also called CDP choline, is a very popular type of choline that is involved in memory and learning, very important for boosting cognitive performance, and it is also used for treating memory impairments. Now studies show that supplementing city choline can actually enhance your attention, increase your brain energy, improve your memory, improve visual acuity, and even slow down cognitive decline. That's why it's a really great supplement for younger people who need more attention, who need more brain power, but also for older people who wanna slow down cognitive decline. Now, one study showed that supplementing about 500 milligrams of city choline per day improved brain energy in healthy adults for about 13.6%. But there's another study that showed that taking about 250 milligrams of city choline increased attention and focus in women, and most improvements were seen in about one to two months of supplementing. Now, if you want to learn more about city calling, click up here and watch my full video. So, what about alpha-GPC? Now, alpha-GPC is a similar compound to city calling. You can find in many popular supplements, but keep in mind, it is legal in the United States, but currently illegal in the European Union. Actually, it is uh, considered a drug in the European Union, and it is given to people who have Alzheimer's disease because it has been proven that it can help people relieve the symptoms of Alzheimer's disease and even slow down their cognitive decline. It is a very potent nootropic, no doubt about it, that can improve your memory, that can improve your learning, and as I said, it can slow down cognitive decline and help people with Alzheimer's disease. Now, a standard dosage is about 300 to 600 milligrams per day, but it is well tolerated to about 1.2 grams. If you want to learn more about Alpha GPC, click my video up here. So what are the similarities between Alpha GPC and City Colon? First of all, most important is that both compounds make acetylcholine, which is a very important neurotransmitter for memory and learning. That's why I recommend taking this nootropic if you want to improve your memory, if you want to improve your learning, because this nootropic can really help you with that. Secondly, both nootropics are considered safe and they're well tolerated, which is very important. And thirdly, both offer neuroprotection, which is very important if you're a bit older or if you care about your brain health and you want to protect your brain from toxins and from other damage. By the way, guys, if you like this video, please press the like button below. So, are there any differences between these two compounds? Well, first of all, citicoline can activate your sympathetic nervous system, which means it can make you more alert. Whereas alpha-GPC can activate your parasympathetic nervous system, which means it can make you more calm. Now, if you want to improve your attention, but also feel more alert, uh, have maybe more brain energy. In this case, citicolon is a better supplement. Also, citicolon is more of a pre-workout nootropic, whereas Alpha GPC is more as a post-workout nootropic, just so you know. Actually, Alpha GPC can even increase your physical output, just 
for you to know. But yeah, that's one of the benefits of alpha GPC. Another difference between these two compounds is that alpha GPC can increase the production of growth hormone. And we don't have any studies with citicoline showing that it can do the same. And lastly, citicoline can amplify the effects of other nootropics. If you ever combine citicoline with other nootropics, and that's what I actually recommend doing, uh, you may feel uh, better and stronger effects than if you combine alpha GPC with other nootropics. By the way, guys, if you wanna see how citicoline changed my life, watch my video up here. Now, one thing you need to be aware of is overdose. You can actually quite quickly overdose on citicoline or alpha GPC, uh, because as I said, they're found in many popular foods, especially in animal-based foods like meat, like um, eggs, for example, they're also found in soybeans. And if you eat, for example, four eggs per day, you will already overdose on choline without even supplementing it. So you need to be a bit aware of that. You shouldn't worry about it too much, but just so you know. So which supplement is better? Well, first of all, if you live in the European Union, then I would recommend Citicoline. Uh, you can find it in a popular branded version called Cognizant because it's legal there, it has been well studied, it provides so many benefits, and yeah, it is a product to go for. If you live in the US, I would still prefer Cognizant because it can make you more alert. It can also increase uh, or improve your brain energy. And the effects are, at least in my opinion, based on my research and based on my experience, a bit stronger. You can also take a lower dosage, so the normal, the standardized dosage of citicoline as Cognizant uh, is about 250 milligrams per day, whereas uh, the normal standard dosage of alpha GPC is a bit higher, between 300 to 600 milligrams per day. So in this case, you can take a lower dosage of Cognizant, uh, you minimize the risk of overdosing and probably, in my opinion, get even stronger effects. Now, if you want to take either of the two, there are some links below where you can learn more about it and you can buy some of the top rated nootropic stacks that contain this compound. You can take them as an individual compound, but honestly, in my opinion, it is so much better to combine those two compounds or at least one of them with some other top rated nootropics for brain performance because that's how you're gonna get the most out of them. Thank you for watching, guys. Don't forget to follow your instructions, subscribe below, and I hope to see you soon again. Take care.